Welcome everyone. So it's already probably 7:30, maybe a little later uh, p.m. You can't really tell, but it's getting it's getting dark out. It's been raining. This roof is very loud when it rains, but nonetheless, um, I don't know what we're gonna get into in this video because I'm starting late and I'm going to start by making something that I've been meaning to make uh, for my tractor. Um, we're gonna make a three-point hitch where I can move trailers around and <clears throat> whatnot for a gooseneck and a bumper pull. But to do that, or the reason why I'm doing that is because the step deck trailer that we've been working on, I'm to the point now where I need to get the front end in the shop. And the shortest thing that I, shortest vehicle that I have is pretty much this tractor of mine. So my idea is, All right, so basically the idea is that, <laughs> that, that I'm gonna take the three point here um, and when, once it's hooked up to the trailer, I won't have a lot of turn in it because it's gonna be the step deck, it's gonna be, you know, the top deck is gonna be pretty close to all this. But long story short, I wanna be able to pull the tractor in so that I can pull it up probably, you know, as far as I can up into here and that'll give me most of the front of the trailer under cover and I can work on that, but the uh, the <clears throat> my, tr my tractor here is probably I can take the the front uh, what do you call this? Why am I not? I can take the loader off the front of it, um, and it'll be roughly so. Let's say that there, and then that it's I'm gonna say 14, 15 feet at the most. Um, and that's probably the shortest thing that I'm going to be able to get in here But I need to work on the front of the trailer with squaring up and adding supports and gussets And it's just going to be easier to have the trailer um, The front end of the trailer in here with the jacks sitting level on something So that way it's when I'm welding everything out that it's not going to be uh, hindering me So that's the idea here, but basically it's going to be something very simple um, T-frame, this is on the bottom, I'm going to cut a piece of this, this is going to be, this is like a piece of one inch and, it's a one inch pipe maybe, three quarter, I'm not really sure, it's a little bit bigger than one inch OD, uh, but I'm going to sleeve that through, and you already know we're using this because we can, um, I'm going to sleeve it through here, I'm going to cut some pieces, uh, these here are going to be my top gussets that are going to mount to the top link, and as you know, we're going to be using this mag drill because why not? We're going to use it for anything we possibly can. And so I'll make a couple of those for a pin to slide through here. I know I'm all over the place right now, but um, and then I got to find, I got to round up a couple old um, trailer trailer balls or a hitch or something. I'm just going to make it simple, but something where I can hook up a standard bumper pull and the um, gooseneck. So. That's what we're going to get started on. I do need to pull an engine and a transmission because I have somebody coming possibly to, to pick that up here for too long. So maybe we'll include that in this video. I don't know what we're going to get, uh, get to doing. But we're going to start by drilling a couple holes. And I'm going to be using the, the yes welder here. We have, we've been kind of neglecting it here for a little while. But we're going to use that. And then we're going to try to use a plasma cutter to cut this. Um, this is 3 8 plate. We're going to all them one. So we're going to play around with it and see how it does. I hope you can hear me all right because it is it is very noisy in here compared to when it's not raining i need to get some spray foam or something on the roof to help with that so anyhow let's get started see where the see where this video goes
So I don't know why Ethan cut this off, because he was out here working on something. I'm not sure why he cut this uh, off, but I'm going to go ahead and use that for the back side here, for the bumper pull So. Alright, so I was going to put this counterweight on here because I need some, I need a little extra weight so that I don't have to get off the tractor and push this thing down every time. And I was about to add on this here, uh, I found this, um, the railroad lift gate, I found this thing buried in the dirt uh, one day. So I brought it home and I welded it on here and then two problems. One, it is not steel. Um, I smacked this thing off here with a hammer after... Uh, I realized that also it was going to block my view of this hitch so it's not going to work and then I was getting ready to bolt it and then yeah that's when I realized that it was going to block my view but it's not it's not cast but it's not definitely not uh, weldable it's something goofy so I just <clears throat> I'm either going to I'm going to see if I can cut this maybe or maybe I'll get a piece just like another piece of uh, tube fill it with I don't know concrete or something a piece of two by three or something and just weld on the back side here um, that's also possible I don't need a lot of weight but it's just something I had but now it's gonna block my view so I definitely don't want that so I don't know but I don't have any concrete here I don't know what else I can use that's heavy enough so one way or another, we'll pick up tomorrow. We'll at least test it out. Maybe I'll get some weight on it. But <clears throat> that's going to do it for tonight. See you guys tomorrow in just a second. For the time being, I found the piece of one inch here, uh, one inch plate, and it's just barely enough to get it to go down on its own. So I'll have to get something different in, uh, here shortly. But for the time being, it's going to work. We're going to go try out, uh, see how this thing works. Um, my gooseneck is hooked up to the other truck right now so I don't need to use this at the moment but we're gonna go move I have a trailer that I need to move so we're gonna go test it out and see if this thing works or not come on
that worked out pretty good uh, if you ask me and a few things I need to do is figure out a better counterweight and make it just make it look better anyway um, it just barely goes down I need just a few more pounds I think um, and it should work out really well we'll tr uh, plan on trying out the gooseneck in the next video because that's my I'm trying to get that trailer done I'm trying to get it done need to get in the shop and we'll be using that the, like I said the trailer is hooked up to my truck right now and I don't feel like unhooking it and then hooking it back up the truck because I don't think I'm going to be able to use this until it's more or less in line with the shop um, before we you know hook it up to this and pull it in uh, just because I won't have enough turn I don't think with it uh, so yeah um, I guess that's going to do it for this video I was going to do some other stuff but I honestly don't have time right now and Lastly, uh, for those who are wondering about the Rock Rooster boot I've been wearing, by far these are the most comfortable boot I have worn. Um, I find that at the end of the day, these just do not hurt like some other boots that I've worn. Um, they're super comfortable. I have, uh, there was very little to like no break in involved. Uh, my only complaint was the laces. They were just, they were starting to wear out. You know, after I've been wearing these for probably about three, four weeks now, um, and I just went ahead and upgraded to uh, some Kevlar um, waxed laces, and the other ones were kind of long. I don't use this top eyelet here, so and they were kind of too short once you wrapped it around your ankle to tie it right. So I just got a little bit shorter uh, shoelace and kind of upgraded it because the other ones they they, they work, um, no doubt about it, but they came untied more often than not and they were just starting to fray a bunch so I just I think these were 10 bucks got some shorter laces and it's definitely made uh, in my opinion uh, more of a difference and I've not been a lace-up guy I'm normally I just like slipping on boots and heading out the door whenever these wear out I will buy another pair and yeah for those who have been wondering again kind of a short short-term review but I really like them um, some of these stitching here around the, I don't know what you call this part right here, but I intentionally haven't been, like I know I've used super glue on the laces before, I've used shoe goo before um, to help minimize this here, but I just kind of wanted to see what would happen if I didn't touch them, and you kind of see some of the, the laces here are uh, starting to burn up, but intentionally left them like that to see how they hold up. Uh, the only thing I did change was the laces, but that's not really a... Uh, game changer anyhow so yeah sorry uh rambling on a little bit but that's gonna do it for this video thank you all for watching we'll see you in the next one more than likely be working on the uh step deck so we'll see y'all soon can you say bye can you say bye can you say bye give me that ball